see this world and the people that I love being destroyed in front of me. So I'm angry. I am angry and I will not hide my anger. I want to say this about our so-called democracies. Our democracies have lied to us. They have not represented us. They have carried out the most atrocious crimes that anyone could possibly imagine in our name, and they've done it historically, and they're going to continue to do it. The fact is that our democracies, especially the United States, is in fact the greatest terrorist of the 20th century. My nation lied to me. I serve for my nation. I am ashamed that I did this. For that, I was experimented on. I was given experimental drugs. I was exposed to depleted uranium. That's what they did to us, the heroes. What do they think of the rest of the world? These people intend to destroy this world, and they will destroy our world unless we act. Our democracies are a lie. And when I hear about people condemning Muslim organizations, or Muslim people and Arab people who have been the victims of our so-called democracies, I think, what are you thinking? sisters around the world, and I refuse to condemn so-called terrorism. These people have resisted. They have resisted. They have been succumbed to our violence for long, 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 far too long. It is insanity for us in the West to sit here and talk about peace while we pay in the tax system, such as in the United States, $369 billion a year. $369 billion a year and we talk about peace. We're paying into the same system that's destroying lives all around the world. We're hypocrites when we say this. And the rest of the world knows this. We need to understand that if we want peace in this world, first we must be truthful. We must be honest about what our nations have done in our name. And if we're not able to, or willing to be honest about that, there is no way that the rest of the world is going to sympathize with us or believe us when we talk about peace. BBC, corporate media, lying to us, brainwashing the masses. Those who will not take the time to learn the truth, they are the enemy. We must abolish corporate media. As long as they continue to perpetuate their lies, the masses will be fooled into these policies of war. We must take control of the media. I'm here to say this. I want the truth to be said, I want the truth to be told, and I will say what I believe regardless of whether it's popular or not. I demand that we speak honestly, and I demand that we have justice. Justice! Then we can have peace. We will not have peace until we have justice. And those of us who have to be So here's the deal from what I can see. If we allow our governments to continue doing what they do, we will destroy ourselves. And I believe we're at the crossroads in history. Either we're going to figure it out and we're going to unite with our brothers and sisters around the world, own up to the crimes of our governments, which are supposedly democracies, which means they represent us. If we do not do this, we will be put into a war against civilizations, a war against religions, a war against cultures. And we will find ourselves in a third world war and we will not survive it. So, I say this. The protests must continue, the petitions must continue, the, the awareness must continue to arise, but we need direct action and we need it now. And here's what I say. I guarantee you, I put my word on this, we will have hundreds of people leaving for Baghdad. We will depart London on January 25th, and I hope to have at least hundreds there, but I guarantee by the end we will have hundreds that will arrive in Baghdad, and I would be very surprised if we do not have thousands. I am calling on a mass migration to Iraq. Now, a mass migration. We need people right now, we need organizers. If you're not willing, if you're not willing or able to go down to Iraq, we need your help. There's got to be many of you in here right now who would be willing to put down some time and help us organize because we've got more people coming in than we